Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to Learning Redstone. Today I'm going to be covering XOR gates. So what they are, a redstone device that allows you to use multiple switches at the same time. So a little demonstration here, if you have uh, two switches and you want to use them at the same time to activate this piston, let's try it. So if you had a piston up here and want to put it down and we tried to use this switch, we would have no results obviously because the power is already traveling out of this switch here so in order to take that down we'd have to use this switch and then use this one to toggle it but with an XOR gate uh, you can use multiple switches so we use this one here to put it up and put it down let's say it's up and you're in another room of your house and you want to switch it down again for whatever reason you switch that and it switches down fully controllable you can do whatever have them both down, both up, and toggle it from whatever switch you're using. Uh, in a way, this is a lot like a T flip flop, but with buttons. So, if you have a button like this, you can use multiple ones to switch between what you're doing. So, uh, it's very, very small actually, very compact. It doesn't use a lot of redstone, just mainly redstone torches. So, you don't have to be building any repeaters or anything like that. Or pistons so let's jump over here and quickly show you how to build it okay so start off with a line of three blocks place one in front two redstone in the middle torch on each side torch 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 redstone blocks redstone torches again and the two bits of redstone there and two on there and you're done so placing your switches and whatever contraption you're activating. For the purpose of this, we're just going to be showing a piston. On, off. So uh, in case you're out of ideas and you don't know what to in implement this into, you can do it with something like this. You can have some sort of thing in your house or underground. Well, it doesn't matter what you're using. It could even be an adventure map. And switch this. Door opens, obviously. Switch another switch. It closes. Of course, it doesn't have to be a redstone door, it can be, it can be pretty much anything. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just using this. Uh, not really much of a difference here, it's just really using switches to open and close things. But it can be good for cinematics as it's better than using buttons. And to be honest, switches look cool when you're open doors, let's be honest. So, that was learning redstone today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, remember to hit a like rating down below and subscribe at all if you haven't already. Post a comment down below if you want me to do something next. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.